Hi, let's do some writer's workshop. Uh, this week and for the next two weeks, you should be writing a story about how to clean your room. You all have this schedule. It would be helpful to print it out so you know what to do each day. Okay, so the first day you were supposed to clean your room. How did that go? Let me tell you, when I was a little girl, I had the messiest room on earth. It was piled high with toys. And I wish my mom had made me a how-to book. But she didn't. So now you have to make your own how-to book. Here are things you're going to need. First of all, it would be helpful if you have a paper like this, a space on the top and lines on the bottom. But if you don't, that's okay. You can just use plain paper. Take five pages and staple it in the corner. I'm gonna use this kind of paper because probably that's what you have at home too. Okay, here are the two mini lessons that I'm gonna review with you today. We've already learned these. Here's the first one. Writers can use books to teach people how to do something. That's what we're learning about right now is how to make how-to books. Okay, so when I taught this the first time, I taught how to brush teeth. First, put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. Then, put water on the brush. Next, brush your teeth in little circles. Then, spit it out. Finally, smile with new clean teeth. But do you see this big eye here? Okay, try to remember when you make your how-to book, don't write I. Don't say I put the toothpaste on. Instead, write it like you're teaching someone else, like you're teaching an alien, or like you're teaching little Miss Wilson who doesn't know how to clean her room, okay? So if it's room cleaning, you'd say, first, um, put your red toys away. Next, put the dishes away, okay? So that's lesson number one. You need how to teach people how to do things. Lesson number two, Writers plan out their books before they start. Plan it before. Don't just get your thing and start writing. All right, so first you cleaned your room, I hope. Now you're supposed to start planning. So watch me plan my story. And it's helpful to have this already made so I can touch, touch the pages and plan. Okay, so I'm gonna think, think, think. I know what I'll say. First, pick up all your clothes. Second, put away all stuffies. I had so many stuffies. Third, clean up all the toys on the left side of the room. My room was so messy, it took me two days. I had to do one side one day, one side the other day. Fourth, clean up the toys on the right side of the room. Finally, Make your bed, hop in, and relax. Ah. All right, so after you've told someone your plan, that could be it for the day. But if you're ready, you could start to draw the pictures. So first I would draw me picking up all my clothes. No writing yet. Then I would draw me picking up my stuffies. No writing yet, okay? So that will help you remember. Then the next day when you go to write, the words, you'll see your picture, you'll remember what you were writing, and you'll get started. Okay, I'm going to check in with you again in a couple of days and show you more about stretching out the words and how we can do it without asking for help. Okay, all right, happy writing. I hope I see lots and lots of stories on Flipgrid um, and Miss Padilla too. She's going to be looking for these two in two weeks. Okay, happy writing.